and a late morning coffee and I'm doing iced coffee that's because I'm probably in Florida here with Bastian Bastinelli Hi everybody Bastinelli Knives and here we are today at his shop this is where it all happens folks this is where the guy has created our line of blades that everybody gets to see and never really gets to understand so this is the line of the future of the Picur knives that's the whole series right there I'm trying to get it to show there you go I'm, just trying to, I'm not a cameraman to see it from that point of view look at all that so I asked if we could take the time to you know come to his shop and um, at least talk about the different things that we've got going on over here and how did it, how is it that we got together to uh, make this collaboration mm -hmm. well the first time if uh, we'll sit over here so we can get Bastian right there can you sit right there brother there you go perfect so the reason I found Bastian was one of uh, the maestro that I always talk about maybe get the light out of there sorry guys I'm gonna move it there you go voila perfect get, get in the camera frame so one of my teachers slash students the maestro was a is, is a knife collector and uh, he has a lot of Bastian's knives and um, he introduced me to his works and I said this is good I like the way this guy thinks the way he designs his blade so with that because he always um, ordered his blades and introduced me to it I had to find a way to meet him how do we meet um, probably in three three years in the no but how did who contacted who oh you did no I remember now yeah. He did a review on my knife. That's why. Yes. He he did a review on my dart knife, mm -hmm. and he said a lot of nice things. I go, that's pretty cool. And I think I contacted you because yes. of that. And it's not through any kind of a match.com. It was because <laughs> three years three years ago, I think. It's yeah, it was three years ago, and uh, we we got connect we we got connected through that. And I always liked his designs, and he did a great review of the stuff that we had. So, with that, uh, we became friends on the internet. Yeah, to Facebook. Yes. And uh, the first time I went to the Blade Show, did we have a collaboration already before that? Um, just with um, with uh, no, not a big collaboration like not this. yet. But uh, we started a knife already, right? Yes. With the Picor. First time I met you, we had the Picor already plans. Not yet. No. Not yet. Okay. So what happened was, I came up with a broken scissor idea, and I go, Bastian. And this is the cool of using technology today, is that I was able to ask him, I sent a drawing, a picture, he sent me his picture and drawing, and we were going back and forth. By the very next day, the first picor was created. And that's pretty cool, yes. because this guy is one of the talented. I, I always liked his blades. He understands and not only creates them, but he tests everything out. And I go, where's your martial art training? And I go, this guy can move with a blade. and Everything is what? Self-taught? Mm -hmm. Common yes. sense? Yes, yes, it's true. It's yeah, true. he talks a lot. He's a very talkative guy. It's just that. <laughs> yes, it's because my English is not perfect. It's oh, not yeah, yeah. Well, well, you sound so good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so much beauty in the beast. <laughs> so anyways, so we're going to take you around right now and show you uh, some of his works, if we can. So, Bastien, what are you working on right now? Um, we we work uh, on different. Uh, we have two different processes. We work on the custom blade, full and made, and we work on different design industrial project like our picker, our um, macro folder, or something like that. And um, for the moment, we focus our energy on the new project. Uh, you know the pika. The pika. Yes. All right. Let's let's show what the pika is. The pika is here. You know if uh, you want. So you can, uh, right. uh, 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 this. See. The pika is here. So. The idea of the Pika was related to the family of Picurs. And what I had told him was the first and only uh, karambit that I started out with was not the big karambits that you see today. It was actually very small. And I showed you a picture of that. And I go, instead of making karambits bigger like everybody has done, let's go back to the grassroots of something that protrudes nicely in there. And of course, with this design, he was able to create the karambit. There's no flipping with this, okay? There's no weight to it. That was all because of heavier blades, not with the pika. But if we were to use it also like a raptor blade, this way, oh my gosh, the kind of damage that you could do. And I'll, there'll be videos that we'll show mm -hmm. with the damage of what this particular blade could do. But it is just plain right sexy. We? We tried. We tried, right? <laughs> so 
Can we can we show them um, you know the idea of the Picor family? Yes, yes. So, of course, our focus right now is the on first the first ideas we have with the Picors. It's, it's that is a that the is original. A, the original, the first custom knife made by me with our ID, with our idea of the scapel. Yes. So this is the broken scissor. We started off with something that I wanted small but was able to puncture. That's so I decided to project. create the Picor scapel type because that's a puncture. That's for puncturing. Then our second uh, our idea was of course what you're going to be released shortly in about two weeks is the Pika. The Pika. If you want and to compare family some, right there. Some different size. Yes. It's to, to stay on this keep the same dynamic same dynamic same family like and then later on we will be adding on Ooh, the fandango we still have no name for this yes so part oh. of the pika family that you will start to see mm -hmm. is the fang it'll probably be like the fang i don't know to le just, fang just to <laughs> remind to just to remind and that is the mako the dynamic of the blade yeah you know. so you see and the Mako is a folder that we've come together because, of course, like the shark, it's taken from his original uh, fixed blade called mm -hmm. the Mako. Mm -hmm. But, of course, the Mako folder, as you will see, mm -hmm. has got the scales. You want to show the Mako? Yes. It's got the scales like you would think of a shark, but it's got the fin. And the fin right there, the bramp, that acts as a direct action response or release. So when it's closed, closed and then uh, deploy, it deploys while you open, so show the opening. Okay, you can show opening like this. Are you on camera? Hold yeah, on. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, perfect. So, you see, it just deploys as you open. Okay. It's a Bram Frank concept opening. Yeah, the Bram. Right there. So, these are some of the designs that uh, Bastinelli can come up with in his folders. Showing you pictures is not enough. You've got to feel it. You've got to feel how good it feels in the hand. And uh, it's good, eh? Thank you. Yeah, so well. Thank you. Thank you. Very good, very good. Any other questions? So, any questions you guys got about it? The Talon. <laughs> so this is what we're doing today here. Of course, we've got the trio going on tonight. Uh, it just happens that Bastianelli, uh, Bastian is based in Florida. And uh, there's a lot of cool stuff that he's got. You know, you, you just got to watch a little bit. So hold your drool. This is what he's got. I mean... Now, I see the raid. <laughs> yes, all over right. there, there right, right? right so a lot of his blades are of course used oh just the minute you hold it the minute you hold that it just feels so good in the hand and the way it feels the balance feels really good it just feels good just so smooth yes it will kill <laughs> now do you have uh, uh, Fred's yes just here yeah. now my fratello Fred Mastro and Bastian came up with their collaboration. Of course, we're all in the family. And we have the P. P-Y. The P-Y. Called Protect Yourself. Protect Yourself Blade. I think if you're going to be walking around, if you've seen Fred will his blade, definitely the P-Y is something that will pack you up. <laughs> P-U, P-Y, P -Y. so definitely one of the blades here, very dangerous, but that's, that's a collaboration. And when is the P-Y coming out? Um, I think it's available, will be available in July, I think. In July? Yes. So that's the P-Y there, and of course this is all about blades today, at here at the Bassinelli uh, location and headquarters. And so if you look at all this beauty, and the beauties of all that, these are the collaborations. A lot of you have the question about the pika and how the sheath is. Mm -hmm. That's the sheath that we're going to show you right now. That's the way it is. The concept for the, the, this sheath is to create a very small, very thin sheath. You know? That's and, an index. And you have a possibility just to open a little the, the, the sheath like this for yeah. the security. Or you can take your knife very close. It's not a problem. But if you need... And you can also invert the concept of the uh, of the blade it's very easy to remove it's a uh, yes show the back and that's the sheath a lot of people were asking how we sheath this 
And that's the concept of that. Yes. And you can remove this mm -hmm. and put it in different configurations. Some exactly. would like to keep, keep it upside down. You can down. put the bag. You can um, put the back or yes. any way that you yes. want. Yes. So this is the beauty and the genius of the guy. Anything else you want to say to everybody? Getting the PY. Can you do cutting display with the PY? Sure they can. It's made to cut. It will cut. <laughs> yes, I think. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, if any of you have any nightmares, the Reaper. The Reaper Tac, yes. Yeah, Reaper Tactical. So Grim Reaper's tool left for us over here. It's kind of cool design. I'm sure you can do a lot of things for Halloween with this. But you can jam with it. You can rip. Mm -mm. Oh, man. Beautiful stuff. So I'm I, I'm right now just going through all his stuff without even asking his permission. Can I? Can I? Yeah, oh yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's, it's okay. All, all good. right. That's so good. all is good. That is a. If you want to see the. the oh. The now this is a version of a ginunting. Now ginunting is half a scissor, so everything's with scissors today. But this is one of the Filipino versions that's used, and voila! Oh my gosh, this thing's light. Yes. So that's a, that that right there. Now why why is a ginunting? It's a preferred uh, weapon now used in the Philippines by the Force Recon Marines because the ginunting forms like a scissor. So the inward curve is designed so much so like a corvo or a curved blade that it'll capture. So it's not quite uh, like a kukri that's uh, got a fat belly and forward heavy to chop. This will slice. It's made for slicing. But it's also got the indexing of a, of a tip right there, the geometry of a tip that can also puncture at certain angles. Light, fast and it will cut. And it is actually in use in the Philippines. So that's his version of the, the Genunting. Yes, the, the idea is to mix the traditional uh, Genunting design concept with a machete uh, weight. It's for that you have only three millimeters thickness with a uh, sandwich steel, uh, very, very good steel to use uh, like a tool in the jungle if you need to use like this, and like the, the, the martial weapon to use to, to drill. Exactly. Very good. It sounds very, good. very. It sounds so much better when they speak with a French accent. <laughs> Anything sounds so good when they speak with a French accent, right? <laughs> yes. Wee right. wee. Oui, oui. Where is my coffee? <laughs> yes, exactly. Good, 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 good. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, just want to say hello from uh, Florida. Uh, this week, uh, this weekend's going to be a big, big weekend. I'll get to see my other brothers in arms with uh, Ray Donaldo of FCS and Jared Wihongi of uh, Wihongi Tactical, mm -hmm. and we'll be getting together. And Bastian will be there as well uh, yes to train to train, to train and to you. show his blades off yes. and we're gonna have fun yes so thanks for tuning in guys Bastian any bye, famous everybody. words bye everybody au revoir au revoir is correct au revoir goodbye alright goodbye thank you for you guys time. soon bye ciao